All right, YouTube. Uh, today is going to be a little different. Um, today we're going to be doing an unboxing. And as you can see, this is big white box on my tool, my tool bench, my workbench, just to say. It says Microsoft Authorized Refurbisher. And you're wondering, well, Phil, what's in the big box? Well, today I went a little crazy and I bought computer number five. Yes, you heard me right. I now have five computers. I know, I'm crazy. That's my addiction. My addiction is computers. But is that really a bad thing? Is it better than drugs or alcohol? Right, Sam? Always gonna have a video with Sam that. I figure if I can let her have a, her moment now, she won't bother me later. I hope. Anyways, and I gotta keep this down because I don't want my roommate to see this. Because if he sees what I bought, he probably will flip out. What are you spending the money for? Blah, 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 blah. You know. Excuse me. Mm. Uh, so. What's inside this box right here is a IBM Lenovo M58. And if anybody doesn't know what, what the IBM Lenovo's are, they're usually office computers. Like that. And when they get um, past their prime and people don't want them, they send them to Microsoft. Microsoft rebuilds them. Or they have a company who rebuilds them and makes them all nice and then sells them to the public. This particular one was $99 at Micro Center. Now, if you're on the West Coast, you don't have a Micro Center because they're usually, the most likely on the East Coast, most like, most definitely on the East Coast. But I'll put a link right down there so you guys can check out the one nearest to you. I think the closest one to the West Coast is Ohio. Um, but if you live on the East Coast, go to that link down there and you can find the store nearest to you. So, like I said, this is an IBM Lenovo M58, has 4 gigs of RAM, a 250 gig hard drive, and Windows 10, I think it's professional, I'm not sure. I know it has Windows 10 on it. So, oh, I'm also recording this on my um, phone. All right, so let's open this up and you guys can see what this sucker looks like. I'm also going to take the packaging when I'm done. I'm going to take it right downstairs to the recycling so he doesn't see it. And this also has a mouse. Looks like a USB mouse. And most likely a USB keyboard, which is right there. As you can see if it's down there, that's the M58. Now if you want to know what the M57 looks like, here's the M57 right there. This is a 2 gigabyte uh, RAM. It originally had an 80 gig hard drive in it, but um, I actually took that out and replaced it with a 500 megabyte hard drive. It is running uh, Windows 7 Premium right now. It had Windows 10, but for some reason they just didn't like Windows 10 and didn't like to work very well, so I went back to Windows 7. But this one has Windows 10 on it, for sure. So let's see if I can pull that out. And also, I'm kind of preempting my um, video. Um, 
videos that I was going to release. Because if you saw the last video, oops, it's stuck down here. I don't know what that is. It's just a piece of paper. If you saw the last one, you noticed that I was the last video was the teardown of the um, the gateway. Well, I have some second thoughts about the gateway, but I'll show you that in the next video, and you'll see why I we we did the gateway. So, there it is. This is the Lenovo M85. Lenovo Think Center M85. It's got the, the standard DVD player in the front, two USB ports, headphones, microphones, power switch. Oh, that's nothing. And you can flip it around to the back here. Got your um, LAN cable. And you got one, two, three, four, five, six more USB ports, an eSATA port, and I think this is where you can plug in your mouse and keyboard. I don't know how exactly you would do that. If I guess you got to have a special adapter that splits them, and you can use the same port for the one port for the mouse and the keyboard. And your standard VGA output, um, serial outputs, and then you got your um, line in, line out, and microphone in the back here. So, I'm gonna set this up. I'm gonna stop the video for now. I'm gonna set this up and We'll be back. All right, so some not so good news. I just got everything all set up. I got the keyboard and mouse all set up, the video plugged in, and plugged it in, and it automatically started going on, and it went beep, 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 and occurred the fan running really hard, and no video. So I'm going to try this again. You can hear what's going on. Oh, it didn't even power on that time. Oh, there we go. There's no power going to the mouse. No the cable it looks like. This is what it did the last time. I think I may have to go into the truck, into the recycling, we'll get the box and the, all that stuff. I may have to return this. Oh, man. This is a real bummer. I hope not. Because that would just be a real pain in the butt. Because it's not like I live like right next door to this place. It's in Cambridge, which is quite a distance away. I don't know how to do this. Well, well, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna try to figure some, figure it out, see if I can get something going. Hopefully. So while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna show you the internals of this 
the M58. Pretty much same as the 57. Get your processor, hard drive, um, PCI slots, uh, memory is right down here. Got four slots, looks like one gigabyte, probably like one gigabyte. I think these are DDR2s that are in there right now. And I believe underneath the motherboard is the north and the south bridges. I think that's where they're located. I just wanted to show you that. Give you a little view of the inside. And Oops, what is that? It's this little safety switch. I guess if that's up, the machine won't power up. Let's see. It will power up. Come on. Shut down. Okay, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to bother you. That's it. So, I tried putting it on this monitor, and it's doing the same thing. I guess it's just not working. Hashtag, this really sucks. Well, it's really, this duo is really suck. And I don't like that when the computer doesn't work. You know, you get all the way home and it doesn't work. Now I gotta, you know, I went down to the recycling and went through the entire, you know, recycling bin and made sure there wasn't any parts missing. Like, you know, maybe there was an adapter for the um, keyboard and mouse that I was missing. But nope, there was no adapter in there. So I don't know if there was supposed to be one. And that's why it's not working because it doesn't see the mouse, the keyboard. I'm gonna try something. It's a little kooky, but it just might work. Oops. I did that. There it is. I can take the wireless keyboard, the wireless adapter for the keyboard. I'm going to try it on this. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I got to turn the monitor back on. It likes to power off real quick. There it is. I doubt it's going to work. See, that's what I think it does. It turns on and it turns off. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, wait a minute. It's on. It's not beeping. It's working. The stupid thing is working. That's what it was. It was like crazy freaking keyboards. And I guess you gotta have the adapter. Unbelievable. Hashtag unbelievable. But it's working. So that's what it was. It's because I probably have to have the adapter for that crazy thing. Well, I'm going to have to go back there and have them give me an adapter. So I'm not buying a wireless keyboard. And I can't keep switching these out every time I want to use it. So anyways, well, after all that, it was something really simple. So yeah, there it is. There's the M85 in action. It's about to start up. So I'm going to, I don't know, maybe I'll do this tomorrow because it's kind of late now. And i got to edit all this together, so 
Maybe later, I don't know. But anyways, there it is, it's working. What it was problem was it wasn't seeing the keyboard and mouse, and that's why it was beeping and not starting up. Because of a keyboard uh, because of a keyboard and mouse. Crazy. Crazy computers. <sighs> well, you know what to do. Like it, thumbs up. Don't like it, thumbs down. As always, leave a comment. And <laughs> thanks for watching all this craziness and weirdness going on. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Talk to you later.